Sunday morning here. Before I get down to business, I should show you this new set that we have here. Uh, as you can see, we've got some new decor, a, t a t uh, nod to the history of the show, uh, some important decor over here that really does to give Scarborough a hard time, a, a great University of Miami helmet. Uh, I've got a nice uh, new coffee bar. I'm going to call it coffee bar uh, because, hey, it's Sunday morning. We should only be drinking coffee. Some of you may decide that you need more than that. Uh, but we hope you enjoy it. It's a clean look. We like it. It's more my style. And now let's get down to business. And I'm Chuck Todd, and joining me to provide insight and analysis this morning. No. No seated down at all. All of, Absolutely this, all of this information. 600 and some people who were released out of Guantanamo, 30% roughly ended up back on the battlefield. Today we're very concerned. I was prepared, uh, and we did. We got the authorization from... Republicans are hoping for a Beach Boys kind of November. Laid out what he called the GOP's principles for American renewal ahead of the midterms. The National Committee, welcome back. Hey, to Chuck. Press. Good morning. Uh, I want to talk about your, uh, your principles here. Uh, they sound great. In fact, call Rove Sember. But let's do a little reality check here. While the unemployment rate has been steadily dropping, signaling a strengthening economy, as we saw with Friday's jobs reports, there are still many Americans that aren't feeling it. So why? In, man. Oh, well, are they? Know if they're Look at these cool lights. We got all sorts of things. All that does mean is, so I have to do a lot more cleaning. I'm going to be dusting. I got to get all sorts of That's feather dust.